This is Dan with Dan and Sarah Makers, and in this video, we're going to look at tying rebar. I'm going to look at five intersecting rebar ties, some splicing ties, and a nail head tie. We're going to briefly look at the tools that are involved in tying rebar and the different types of tie wire itself that is used with rebar tying. I'm also going to reference the CRSI, which is a book written by the Concrete Reinforcing Steel Institute. And basically, they are the Bible when it comes to rebar and tying rebar. So I've got an older edition here, but it still has all the information you need nowadays. For this particular tie, we're doing a splice tie, and we're using what's called a bag tie and a whirly bird tool. And it's just a manually operated tool where you spin and you tighten the wire down to create the tie. This next one is the same style. It's a splice using a bag tie, but this time we're using a pull tool, which spins and then ratchets forward when you release it. And that's a quick way of creating that tie. Here we're using a vinyl coated tie wire. Typically you would only use this on epoxy coated rebar, but I'm using it for this video just for the contrast so we can actually see the wire. You trim the ends off with the plier and fold it over because those things will cut your arms up when you're playing with the wire. Here this is an intersection and it's the most simple but it's also one of the weaker ties. So again with the pliers, twist it. You can hit them over or fold them over with your finger. This is the wrap and snap tie which is very similar to the first one but we do a wrap around the bottom um, rebar which would be the vertical rebar and this is really good when you've got a vertical wall and you don't want that horizontal rebar sliding down so again trim our wires fold them over this is a saddle or u-tie which is actually one of my favorites it's pretty secure in most situations you can get a lot of uh, force on this particular tie and get your wire or your rebar really close together and snug. And again, twist them down, fold it over, you're good. This is the same as a saddle or a U-tie, but this one has a wrap on the lower portion. And this is, of all the ties I show you in this video, this is the strongest. And this is really good for if you're creating rebar mats on the ground and then you're going to lift the entire mat with a crane this is the strongest so that mat will hold together quite well. Here we're doing a figure eight which is kind of like a saddle but we bring both ends of the tie wire up and create an X or a diagonal seam over the top and twist the wires. Here I'm showing the use of a bag tie at an intersection. Again, it's a simple or snap tie. With the pull tool, you just pull it two or three times. It twists down, and you're good. And then again, here I'm just showing it with the whirly bird, the manual tool. To attach a piece of rebar a set distance from a form, by driving your nails in and then tying the rebar to the head of the nail. So that is done by taking a loop of rebar, going over the nail head in one direction like so, bringing a short end underneath the rebar here, like that, and then looping over the top of the rebar with the long nail, or long end of tie wire, going underneath the nail now and coming back over the rebar. So you've basically done a saddle but it's gone around the nail head on either side. We can tighten that up. And that allows us to have a good sturdy connection of the rebar to the nail head to maintain our cover distance from our formwork. All right, thanks for watching this video on how to tie rebar. I have to say, quite a few small pieces of wire were injured in the making of this video.
But other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. This is Dan with Dan and Sarah Makers. Until next time.